Um, to talk about this, Stephanie Flanders, once Faisal's competitor, well, competitor, <laughs> cohort, uh, chief market strategist now for JP Morgan Asset Management. Uh, Stephanie Flanders, um, this is just the kind of script uh, Mr. Carney at the Bank of England will have wanted to write, but probably never really dreamt of, 2%. Yes, I mean, well, well, you could say, if you were at the Bank of England, you might say, well, if you remember our forecast from a year ago, we were expecting inflation to finally go back to target around the turn of the year. I guess the slight problem for them was in the summer, they'd raised the target, and they, they raised the forecast, and they actually thought we'd be looking at inflation still close to 3% at this time. So I don't think it's, it's not casting any great fresh light on their forecasting ability, but I think it is. It's quite a moment that we've had... Uh, 60 consecutive months of inflation above target. That has meant a huge squeeze on living standards. Wages have not kept up. They're still not really keeping up with even the target rate of inflation. And, and, so I think it is a change. People were feeling queasy about interest rates. No yes. longer, presumably. I think it's going to be really helpful for the Bank of England if it continues. And people are expecting inflation to maybe be under 2% more than above it over the next year or so. That will be a huge benefit to them because they, the Bank of England does want to keep interest rates low, get more people back to work and crucially get productivity and growth back, some of that growth that we lost. Bit awkward for Labour who went out now today really going for the middle class vote on the question of the big squeeze. Is it de-squeezing? Well, when I was talking, to, when I was doing Faisal's job or a version of Faisal's job, we used to always go out and ask people, and when inflation was low, we'd say, well, do you feel better off? People never feel better off. So I don't think Labour are going to lose anything appealing to the fact that people are still feeling that uh, bills are going up faster than their wage packets. In most cases, it probably still will be going up faster than wage packets. And people have still had the hit for the last few years, this almost historic squeeze in real wages. Uh, unemployment creeping down, inflation dropping, um, what does that say about wages? Well, I think one, one thing that's what the Bank of England will be looking for. What they've said all along is, look, this is not homegrown inflationary pressure. It's from things that we can't control, like tax rises, utility price rises, and from outside import price rises. It's not from rising wages. And I think they're probably, we're not seeing any sign of labour labour costs going up. That sounds like bad news for people, but if we see relatively slow, relatively modest growth in wages over the next year or so, that does increase the chance the Bank of England can keep interest rates low and get some of that output back that we lost. We've got so much ground to make up. Stephanie Flanders, thank you very much indeed for joining us.